Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike. Thanks for jumping on with me this morning. Appreciate you being here. I want to talk to you today and this week about the two biggest questions that each of us has to answer for 2022. Number one, who is going to buy and sell homes with you this year? Who is going to buy and sell homes with you this year? Number two, what will you do every day to become the top of mind, credible expert with that group of people? Who's going to buy and sell homes with you this year? And what are you going to do every day to make that happen? These will be the two most critical questions in your career. They will determine not your goals, not your picture board, not your big why, but these two questions will determine the level of success that you're going to experience in 2022. For today, I just want to focus on the first question. Who is going to buy and sell homes with you this year? This is called your target audience. You could also call it a niche. You could call it an area of focus. You could call it a specialty. I don't really care what you call it. I call it a target audience. Uh, a key point that I want to emphasize with you this morning. For those of you that answered that question, who is going to buy and sell homes with you with this? Uh, my sphere of influence, referrals, people I know. Um, this, your sphere of influence is not a target audience. Let me repeat that. Your sphere of influence is not a target audience. Everybody has a sphere of influence. Everybody has family and friends that they know that will support them because they have a real estate license. But with very few rare exceptions, and if you think you're the exception, come talk to me because I am betting that you are not. But you don't know enough people. Your sphere isn't large enough, and I don't care almost who you are. Your sphere isn't large enough to make a living off that. It's nice. It'll be part of your business. Some people would refer to that as a vertical. But it will not be enough to support your goals unless your goals are very low. So your sphere is not a target audience. What we're talking about is other than family, friends, personal referrals, other than that, where will your business come from this year? And that's going to be the meat and potatoes of your business. It's also going to do something for you which is incredibly important. It's going to make your business dependable, reliable, and repeatable. The fact is you might have done well in 2021 simply because a lot of people that you happen to know happen to be moving. But they're pretty, you know, the average is getting close to 10 years now, so they're not going to be moving again. So now you need the same thing to happen inside your sphere of influence, and you can't make it happen, can you? You can't create the desire for people to want to buy or sell a home. So what are you going to do? Well, you're not going to be reliant on your sphere of influence. You're going to have a defined target audience. All highly all highly productive real estate agents have a target audience. Most other professions do. Think about doctors. Do they have specialties? How about lawyers? Do lawyers have specialties? Mm -hmm. One of the best examples of this in the law field is a law firm called Cadillus & Associates. Yeah, they're a law firm. No, they specialize in family law. Nope. They specialize in divorce. Nope. They specialize only in men going through a divorce. I love the nichiness of that. And you could say, well, look at all the people that they're eliminating by not being their clients. Hey, they do fine. Where I get my hair cut, they only cut men's hair. They don't cut kids' hair. They don't cut women's hair. They only do men's hair. And they are booked up for the next 30 days. Being niche, having a specialty or a target audience, allows you to define your message onto that audience so that they would be aware that you are the credible expert to help them. Key Three key dynamics to a target audience. Number one, it must be very specific. 
which means you have to be able to enter it into a database. Don't tell me that you're a luxury specialist because I'm going to say, okay, great, just enter all, your lux all the luxury customers into a database. And you can't because you don't know who they are, which by definition means they don't know who you are. Your target audience must be very specific to the point where you could enter each of them into a database, which you will be doing. Number two, uh, really important, start small. I love the ambition I hear. I do love the ambition, but sometimes it's overly ambitious and it's so big that we're not able to implement. So what I want to encourage you to do is start small and grow into it. Those of you that are more ambitious will grow quicker and bigger. Start small and grow into it. Don't overreach. Uh, how small? Uh, it has to be, your target audience needs to be at least 500 people to be able to generate a return on investment. Probably not more than a thousand to get started or it might become so big that you're not able to do anything with it. And the third key dynamic is become the expert. The credible expert. If you tell me that you're going to focus on a particular neighborhood and that's called geographic farming in our business and that's a large neighborhood and you want to become the top of mind credible expert for that neighborhood I would say fine that's a tried and true legitimate strategy but you need to be an expert not just say you are but you need to know everything about that neighborhood you need to know everything from the big stuff like how many homes there are, what's the median age in the neighborhood, uh, how many of the homes in the neighborhood have kids. You need to know all this stuff. You, if you're going to say you're the neighborhood expert, then the third key dynamic is you actually need to be that. Those of you that know agent Jay Vetter Manning, Jay's target audience is uh, investors, not just investors. Jay knows more about Section 8 housing in the Atlanta market than the Section 8 people do. <laughs> Jay is a core competent agent. She is an expert in that area. If you're going to have a conversation with Jay, bring some game because she is an expert. April Rogerson is community has a community focused on Southwest Atlanta. Nobody knows more about what's going on in and around Southwest Atlanta than April does. If you're gonna say you're an expert on something, you have to be an expert on something. Now, I wanna do this. That's the first key part. Number one, who's gonna buy and sell homes with you this year? And if you can't answer that, that's where your problem lies. Because until you answer that, you might be the best real estate agent that nobody knows about. You're not going to be able to move to item number two. What will you do every day to become the top of mind credible expert? Because you don't know what to do because you don't know who you're trying to do it to. And strategies differ depending on your target audience. So what I want to ask you to do is join me tomorrow as we discuss how to select the right target audience for you and six key concepts to help you with this decision because this is a biggie. I also want you to do something else. I know that each of you know an agent in the Atlanta market who's struggling because they're not getting the help they need. Maybe they bought some big coaching program they're spending a lot of money on and they're finding out that that's a bunch of bullshit trying to tell everybody to do the same thing. Maybe they've just affiliated somewhere where there's not the help and support that they need. Here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to try to change their life. Just invite them to the call tomorrow. Give them an avenue to get some help. That's what this is all about. I'm trying to help you. You pass it along. You try to help somebody else who you think's trying to find their path in real estate. This is Mike. And this is how we go out there and we make it happen for ourselves today.